Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies, it's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode, episode, episode 18, episode 18 of Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. It's in the vein of RimWorld, Dwarf Fortress, Surviving Mars, games like that, games that I like. And we're playing in the Aber Wyvern seat. Aber Wyvern is a fictional community from um, it's a children's architecture book by David McCauley, uh, eponymously titled Castle, and also an associated children's uh, PBS TV show, uh, single episode uh, documentary, if you will, animated documentary um, about a... British Lord, Lord Kevin Lestrange, building a concentric castle, um, I think for Edward, Edward II um, in, in Wales, in uh, the Welsh countryside. Don't quote me on that Edward bit. Anyway, so where did we leave off? Well, we're still excavating, obviously. Um, we're digging down the foundation around the castle. We're going to start to fill in some of the... Some of the um, rock segments with wall segments the castle will emerge from the ground um, and it goes pretty deep underground too i think uh, i think the last thing we were working on was this under the library above the library hmm. yeah so this is uh this sort of subterranean uh, room excavation that's going on here is actually the uh great hall so there's going to be a great hall and I feel like I should check on our food stores. Okay, we're going to run time for a little bit. Um, we did talk to the merchant there the last time. We've got lots of lots of hay for the animals this time around. Certainly could stand to produce some animal feed, especially since the cabbages are rotting. I think I'll probably get on that right away. Um, until you have 50... No, we want more than that. We want 200, 200 animal feet. Okay, I don't, I don't really remember where I left off here. It's been, it's been a couple weeks at least since uh, I uploaded the last video. Um, I've got a lot of great comments um, from people who've. Uh, have been watching the series. I'm, I'm quite flattered. Thank you for uh, thank you for donating your time by by enjoying my content. Um, I will endeavor to create more and better content when when I have the time, and that is something of an issue these days because I'm starting to find out time is time is money um, in a way that maybe I was insulated from. I don't know. I I had I had a job that paid pretty well, um, and I wound up leaving that job this winter. And I have a new job that pays less well, um, but the work conditions are way better. Um, and it's, it's a way more positive, uh, uplifting environment. It's a unionized job. It's a, it's a good gig, but, um, you know, I'm spending most of my time working now. And if I'm not working, I'm in uh, transit to work, which, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm working colonization day. It's a Canada day for those of you who don't live here, July 1st. Um, so I'm working colonization day and, that's a personal choice. I didn't want to take the day off, but, uh, you know, if I can, if I can make, if I can make extra money for working the holiday, I will. But, uh, you know, tomorrow my transit, I, I expect it'll be two hours both ways. So it's four hours spent on, on buses and trains and to, to get to work, you know, but we do what we have to do. And, uh, outside of that, I'm, uh, I'm writing science fiction. I'm reading science fiction. I'm on book five of Ian Banks culture series, which, uh, I'm going to address in another video I'm doing later today. Uh, I'm going to do a rim world session, uh, starting a rim world save, but, um, it doesn't leave me a lot of time for for building fantasy castles in v voxel games um but but i will i will try when i can so we gotta get some floor down to i i definitely want to make sure that food production's happening and then shift pretty much everybody over to uh construction and mining just so we can get through these projects especially since we're on autumn day nine there we go. 
Also, we had an election here in Toronto where I live, and we uh, elected a socialist as mayor, which is just wild. It's like an like an actual an actual socialist um, who, back in the day, uh, helped train me, helped train me as an activist, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm I'm stoked about that. You know, things are things are overall looking good, um, but times are about as hard as as they're going to get for uh, for me um, with respect to you know not not necessarily work conditions, but work compensation and. Um, most of that actually has to do with the, the, the government, which has capped my salary at, uh, you know, what it is. And then a 1% increase per year, my rent goes up by 2.5% per year. The same government legislated that. So it's like, I'm losing money every year and they know it and they know it. And they just, they want to, <laughs> it's not, this is not the mayor. This is, uh, our provincial government. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm not here to talk politics. I'm here to talk castles. I really don't want to change anything because everything seems to be working pretty well. Oh, we got some research to do too. So I definitely want to get crossbows made. That's probably the next priority. In order to do that, we need to get blacksmithing. These guys are building something down here. What are they building? Oh, they're they're filling in that. So the castle's eventually going to sit on this footprint that I'm filling in here. If you're wondering why we're building walls underground, seems like a weird choice, but we're definitely moving the kitchen. I think we're going to have uh, a great hall on one side of this uh, this area there, and then a kitchen on the other, connected by a corridor in the middle. This is this uh, this level here is going to be the ground floor of the castle. We still have to go down one more level all the way around. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that stone. Move it or use it, I guess. Speaking of using it, oh, we don't have many limestone bricks, and I don't think I have any construction um, facility for. It. No, I don't. So that's something we're going to have to do too right away. In the winter. All right, we got the map room there. We're going to use this map room for now. It's just going to get dug down. Put a couple stone masons benches inside. And again, I got to watch these room temperatures a little bit more closely now that we're getting into the, the winter. I've got some characters assigned to stewarding, so things should be getting serviced. I should put my tending characters on tending one just in case somebody gets hurt. There's no reason. Somebody pointed that one out to me uh, a couple months ago. Okay, what's Andrew building now? Oh, good. Extra shelving. Perfect. So we need we need that for sure. What's the temperature in this room? Warm. So my food's going to start to go bad because... My, my dedicated cold storage is no longer so cold. Uh, this is something I could copy, isn't it? Yeah. Copy that zone, paste it there, and then... I think it's it's still too warm in the season, but... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make sure somebody is making ice. Got a lot of armor, not so many helmets. I would like to see a helmet on every rack there. I think there's a couple of helmets laying out in the field here, but whatever. They're already decaying. Well, that's a good one. Let's let's have Oh, no stockpile set to store this to what? Huh. Why uh that's weird. It's actually weird. Whatever. No, I'll just have him equip it. We're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to get some sun hats too. Is he wearing full plate armor? He is wearing full plate armor. Okay, it's interesting. 
He's not supposed to be. Or any of the rest of them? No, just him. That's fine. Okay, Osgar is in his bed. Now, people have been saying this structure cannot be used because it isn't in an unsuitable environment. Oh, oh, the roof is open above his bed. He, he is using it, even though it can't be used. It's in an unsuitable environment. It's weird. Anyway. Speed time back up. I think they are building things, right? Yeah, they say started building the uh, stonemason's benches. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Who is crafting? Who's the least useful character to me right now? Would be Mark is one of them. Technically Mark should be tailoring, I guess, but we don't really need it. And let's put Oscar. No, Oscar is researching. Let's put Peter. Yeah, let's put Peter on crafting as well. And they'll just start making bricks here, which we have so much goddamn stone. How much stone do I have now? 31,000 stone. So we're probably not even going to manage to turn all that stone into bricks, but... Okay, and I'm going to start to actually... Sequester all this crap outside the walls before it fills up the interior completely. Might as well just fill that whole space there. It's probably enough. And... Next step is going to be and might as well set everyone to hauling one just not that they not that they will prioritize it like ever but if it needs doing anyone can do it and at this point we're not uh, we're not behind in any production loops so it's not uh it's going to impact food or whatever so the blacksmithing learn crossbows now The hell was that sound? Huh. Okay, and they are they are moving stuff right away. Good. It was Mark building something in the basement. Okay, it's zero degrees outside, which means somebody should theoretically be able to make ice now. No. I wonder what temperature 
Oh, I guess it's just a little bit too warm. It's fine. We're almost into winter. It's been a while since we've had a new community member, right? Like Peter was two, three episodes ago when he joined, so maybe we'll get someone new this session. Probably bandits, though. It's probably going to be bandits. I should probably make sure that the cooking recipe there is not using barley. Again, we need to replant that field. So yeah, good. And we want to produce alcohol. I guess we got alcohol. It's going to be it's fermenting right now. So beer soon. That should make everybody really happy. I don't know how long the beer will last. Probably not as long as I'd hope, but I also got honey so like I can make mead like So I want to enclose these towers so people can have rooms in each in each tower as opposed to all of them sleeping in like a communal barracks and two floors of one tower. It take them so damn long to haul all this stuff out. I probably should have just not put it there in the first place. Oh, did a pig die? Well, I guess they, I guess they do die of old age, right? Like we got a we got a lot of pigs. Probably also haul these things out. Let's see if he takes it to the correct stockpile. He's not. They need to need to take. I don't know where they're taking it. Okay, there they did take some to.
still no fodder being moved. I think I'm starting to get frustrated. This might be a bug. I don't care if it's the middle of the night. Everybody has to haul some fodder. Yep, I feel like that's a problem. <laughs> Maybe it's a... Uh, I, I read something about animal husbandry being the skill now. That uh, determines who feeds the animals. They should be hauling. There's a silver helmet there on the stockpile. Yeah, male helmets aren't supposed to be on that. I think I see what happened there. Okay, they're starting to clear these areas out. It's going to take fur freaking ever. It's, this is a late, late, late game. I always see people's builds, and they're always so organized. I guess because they're using their goats to haul. I'm, uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm ideologically opposed to the idea of using the uh, the animals as domesticated labor. Like, yeah, if you could if you could rope up the donkey and take it, and, you know, a villager could carry two or three times or four times as many things as normal. Um, that would be one thing, but the animals just like independently wandering around gathering stuff after you train them like that's, uh, it's immersion breaking. Um, so I guess I'm left with great piles of stuff because I'm relying on all the humans to do all of the labor. Okay. A merchant coming. That sound scared the crap out of me. I thought that was a uh, bandit raid or something, but, but no. Other things are starting to rot in the stockpile, too. Okay, Peter's making some ice. That's fantastic.
We need mechanical components to produce the crossbows. That's going to have to wait, I think. Could build the blacksmith's forge right now. At least there's no reason not to. We're going to move it. Everything's going to get moved, right? So... You know what? I didn't actually go talk to the merchant. Should probably do that before uh, she wanders off. Let's see what she's got. She's got apple saplings, barlow. This is generic, whatever. Whatever. I'm not short on apple saplings. Or uh, they're spreading like uh, they're spreading like wildfire over here. Actually, pretty soon I'll be able to cut down this entire uh, apple orchard and recite them in a you know an organized grid pattern and maintain that like that'll be nice I wonder what's going on over here I forget what I dug up dirt I guess okay winter arrives it's a good thing Dimensions of the Great Hall are almost done. We got about twenty thousand stone left to haul. It's not. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. I don't think. <laughs> What collapsed there? Part of the library floor. If 
Far from a stable structure. Oh, because there's mining underneath it. Ah. Okay, this is where things start to get complicated. <laughs> in, in, in a good way, but a challenging way. Got animal food, we've got people foods. Everything's going okay. Lots of seeds. Slow down and research a little bit, but that's fine. So we're focused on hauling right now. Oh, that would be why the corner tower was was weak when I was building it, I remember. Okay, she's going to get more winter clothes because her clothes decayed. Somehow I got a cow again. A male cow this time. Boy, would I like a second cow. If, there's a, if a merchant comes to town, I don't care what costs. I'm buying that cow. Okay, we're going to have to watch the uh, health of folks. You can't really constrain them to an area like you can in RimWorld, right? So they're going to wander off and get cold and pass out and need to be rescued. At least cold doesn't affect animals yet. I'm gonna actually, I could uh, put everyone over to mining. I would at least keep them close to home. Some of them are gonna get stuck though if I do any significant excavation. Yeah, okay, we'll see how that works out.
There's going to be a collapse here, I think. No? Okay. Sure is a weird, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, folks. Everybody's health is doing okay. Everyone's fine. Beeswax keeps decaying. You gotta check on where they're keeping it. Well, that was a disaster. that was going to end badly. I knew that was going to end badly. Okay. But what I don't understand is why. Delete all the floor here. How the fuck did that happen? What? I'm certainly I'm starting to actually get confused by my build here. Okay, so that was pretty easy to repair. It wasn't really 
I don't understand why that even collapsed if it can just be rebuilt. Everybody's health is still good, yeah. Can they not reach this or something? No, they can reach. Why aren't they working here? Okay, maybe they'll mine these out now that the floor is exposed. Of course they won't. Oh, there we go. Finally! Starting to get there. Okay, these two are the least of my concerns right now. Okay, do I have wood? Not officially, doesn't look like. Okay, if, if I do, they're not hauling it as usual. The reason I ask if I have wood is because I'd like to build a real temporary platform.
Yeah, that'll, that'll do. So they can finish the renovations in here. I would like them to finish these floors too. All this stuff. I don't know why that uh, roof section doesn't have snow on it. That's weird. Inexplicable. Okay, we're almost at a cabbage, but that's okay. We're gonna get through this winter. I don't know why they're not building things. <sighs> See what they do after uh, their morning prayers. Oh, everyone switches to construction. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, now we can start to lay out the stuff for the Great Hall. Um, it's going to be temporary stuff to start because you get better furniture later, but uh,
Let's see, lengthwise, I want to do one table, two tables. Yeah, two tables in the middle. Okay, what, what do I actually need for the room type? Great hall. Large table, chairs or stools, wall banners, shield racks, trophy racks or weapon racks, four torches. Turn that off because it's impossible to see. Banners. What do I have the most of? Definitely wool, right? Yeah, wool. Um, that's not what I'm looking for, is it? I'm looking for wall banners. Is there a different type? Yeah, there they are. floor. Okay, that's fine. It's better to do it now. Get that out of the way. Okay, so I'm opening the floor here so I can get access to these cross beams. Hopefully the structure is still sound without them. I think it will be. Yeah, 
Perfect. Damn, really? Huh. It's got to come from this way then. I wind up building a scaffold all the way around the room just to put up a, uh, put up a couple banners. There we go. Okay. How much iron do I have? Probably not, not yet, not as much as I need. Why is this only under the roof and not enclosed? Yeah, I might as well beautify the room. Okay, now the banners are laid out. Got to be getting close to Great Hall status now. Here we go. 
that all the banners for eight? Yep, all right. So we're gonna take down the catwalk around the room. Something was load bearing. It shouldn't have been. That I don't understand. No, nothing was load bearing. It's just a bug. Great. Okay. Great Hall is done. Great. The Great Hall is done.
Who's idle? Kevin's idle. Why is he idle? I guess there's nothing under construction. Okay, well, they're all mining away now, productively. The Great Hall is done, and this episode is at an end. It's a little bit quiet this uh, this episode, but I'm just focused on remembering how to play. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more videos in the near future. Um, definitely hopping off right now to go do some RimWorld um, after I eat some lunch. But yeah, um, that is in fact all for me for now. This is a postmodern cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Throw me a like, subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>